Those who attended an event featuring Olympic legend Michael Phelps last week in Boise are still talking about it. The 23 time gold medalist was in Boise as a guest of the Greater Boise Aquatic Center to help raise money for their planned Olympic style center in Southeast Boise. But he also brought a message of the need to support mental health organizations, something he launched last year in an HBO documentary called The Weight of Gold. A film that touches on a handful of successful athletes, including Boise's Jarrett Speedy Peterson and their struggles with mental health. Mark Johnson has more in today's Hello Idaho. We as a family, um, I know the ski team and his support system, his friends didn't have the tools. We don't have a general mental health literacy in the United States. Shannon Decker is the executive director for the Speedy Foundation in Boise, which started up just weeks after her cousin Jarrett's death nine years ago to restart Idaho's suicide prevention hotline. Shannon was part of a panel discussion involving, among others, the film's director and also executive producer Michael Phelps, who holds the all-time record for Olympic gold medals at 23. Despite being the most decorated Olympian of all time, Michael Phelps says he's been dealing with mental health issues for most of his adult life, saying our society's push for physical health and performance has never contained a mental health and awareness component. I think the one thing that, that frustrates me the most is that we've seen so many instances where athletes have gone through these scary times and we know about them, but there's still nothing that's been done about it. Nothing. That's the screwed up part. And though the film focuses on Olympians, they all know that's just a small section of those affected by this. It's people everywhere. I think we're finally starting to talk about mental health and mental wellness. Um, really, mental health is being elevated to the same level as physical health. I saw the coaches line up for the Bishop Kelly football coaches this year as far as their professional development. And for the first time ever, there was a suicide prevention module that was included. And if you can talk about suicide, you can talk about anything else. It is probably the hardest thing to, to talk about with someone individually. Um, but if you're starting to notice the signs of what might be concerning about suicide, you're in tune to anything and everything else. The Speedy Foundation has a free online class for anyone looking for clues to knowing when someone is in crisis and then being given a roadmap for navigating the best way out, something that those who are close to Speedy didn't have access to at the time, something that just may have changed history. One hour of your time you could save a life, and you might not know when, and you might not know where. You might not ever know that it happened, but you start to change your mindset. You start to change the way that you speak to other people, the way that you reach out when you see that someone is maybe struggling, um, and connect them to help. And a great resource for anything you may be looking for in regard to mental health is the Speedy Foundation. Just go to speedyfoundation.org. And as always, the Idaho Suicide Prevention Hotline is available 24-7. The number is 800-273-8255. 273-8255. It Matt. is so important, so important. Every time we see Jared, it's just so tough to see him because we all loved him so much here. And it still you know, breaks our heart what happened there.